Okay, we got our work coordinate system free and clear, plumb in all five dimensions. I've said too much. We got to uh, face this off here. So we're going to come in with a tool. And of course, I have lost my local, yeah, my tool library is Gonzo because the Jesus Brainiacs at Fusion insist on changing everything around every fucking month. It's a right pain in the cant. Well, this this will do. This will do. We're gonna do the uh, two inch face mill. We can be quite aggressive on this because we got a big boy toy. So we're gonna go with three thousand ripums, fifteen hundred. We're gonna go uh, feed. We'll, we'll do two hundred. So that's sixteen thou per tooth. Uh, lead in's a little a little heavy there. We'll go a little less lead in. That's just when it's starting the cut ramp. Uh, it's quite fast too, but we're not gonna ramp in plunge feed rate. I don't, I really like being very conservative reasons. Don't ask too many five. Why did the chicken cross the road? Quite frankly, it's none of my fucking business. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing with this is you want to come in hard, fast and deep, but your step over is minimal. Now we're just barking off the top, so we're not going to worry about that, but we'll go one five because we're only taking off but 20 thou. Both ways is not good. You want a climb mill on a rigid machine and we use chip thinning. Chip thinning means that you come in and your first, when you first come in with the cutter, it cuts a big chunk and then eases into a wedge. That allows the chip to carry away the heat and you get the most material removal for the less, less amount of cutter wear. It's just, just the way things are done. And then for the linking, we want to lead in transition. We want to come in about an inch away, about an inch, only off by a one order of magnitude. We should be good there. Preserve rapid, stay down in. There we go. We'll do three quick passes all in a hurry. 